Today's story is The Word Pirates by Susan Cooper. Pictures by Stephen Kellogg. It was early morning on the pirate ship. Words, roared Captain Rotting Bones. Bring me fresh words. I need breakfast. Because that was what these pirates ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Words. Aye, aye, Captain, shouted Fiddleface, the bosun. So he let loose their flock of bumblebirds. They were trained to fly over the ocean and steal words fresh off the page the minute that writers wrote them down. Captain Rotting Bones ate long, chewy words like anti disestablishmentarianism. His crew liked short, crunchy words like hop, fib, tuck, pop, and zip with milk. And the bumblebirds snapped up the broken bits that fell on the deck. All round the world, the pirates sailed, gobbling up words in every language. Storytellers were heartbroken as the birds peeled words off their pages, ruining tales that would now never be heard or read. But one day, Captain Rotting Bones grew greedy. He had learned of a word wizard, a zany New Zealander, whose stories were said to be so wonderful that he knew her words would be extra delicious. He licked his lips. Yo ho, me hearties, he cried. Brush up the bumblebirds. We're sailing south. The word wizard lived on a green. Headland with her cats and her bouncy poodle Baxter. She was reading her magical stories to children, wearing her rainbow wig when the birds swooped down. Suddenly, there were gaps in her story. It should have begun. Robert looked over his shoulder and there was a hippopotamus following him. But now it said, Robert. Was a hippopotamus. Her story was in tatters. The wizard was furious. So were the children. They ran after the birds as they flew to meet the pirates on the beach. Give us back our words, the children yelled. Your words are our lunch, the pirates mumbled with their mouths full. And they gobbled up. Every last one. Words were not made for you to eat, the wizard cried. Words are for stories and poems, for friends, for singing, and for dreams. Words are precious things. We're pirates, shouted Fiddleface. We steal precious things, and we're hungry. Captain Rotting Bones drew his sword. I'll fight you, he snarled, and when I win, we'll eat every word you write. Never, thundered the wizard. Just you watch. A word spinning pen is mightier than a pilfering pirate's sword. The captain leaped forward, his arm high, but the wizard raised her pen. And out of the pen, Came all the magic of story. The children shouted, "The words win!" The pirates were stunned; their heads were buzzing with stories. What amazing things words could do if you didn't eat them! They stared at the wizard, astonished. The wizard led them onto their ship. And with help from the children and the bumblebirds, she sailed it to a faraway island. She put the pirates ashore with a big chest full of surprises. From this moment on, she said, "You are no longer pilfering pirates. You can be fantabulous farmers, and anything else you choose. 
Just remember always, words are for imaginations, not for bellies. Then the word wizard sailed over the seven seas with her friends, spreading the news that the pirates had been defeated. The storytellers were very much relieved, and ever afterwards, the words were safe in books, like this one. While the pirates on their island learned slowly how to read and ate vegetables. And one day, the youngest pirate picked up a pen and very carefully began to write once upon a time. Thanks for watching Storytime with Miss Rose. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. If you enjoyed the book, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Thank you.